get out of bed that day. If you're having a, a mental health day, you don't, we all go through it. I don't want to get out of bed today. I want to lay, it's easy to lay in bed, stay in bed, watch TV and, and not really do much. Um, I have a dog, you know, my dog keeps me motivated, believe it or not. They, they have needs. So, you know, I got to get up and I got to take him out and, you know, give him food and water. And it's like, well, I'm up doing this. Well, now I'll do this for myself. And, you know, I, as the pandemic has progressed, I've, a lot of things in my life have changed. And so, you know, I try to give myself um, those small goals, you know, by 10 a.m. at least try to have major coffee, get yourself going. And 10 a.m. is late, 10 a.m. is late. But I know that if I tell myself do it by eight, I absolutely, I'll feel like I can't do that. So I give myself time and often I'm more ahead of myself because it's like, oh, well, you were already up at 7.30. Just get going. You're already awake, you know. So do you have a, do you have a go-to person? Just when, when you were talking about this and talking to yourself in the mirror, what, what um, we were discussing before with, with Austin was, I mean, he, he I'm his go-to person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and when I'm feeling a bit low, I'll send him a little message going, I'm having a really shitty day. Shall we just have a bit of a chat? Do you, do you have that? And is, and is it somebody in, in the industry or is it somebody um, from, from family? So I um, have an excellent support system, and I do believe that it, as a performer, it's important to have people outside of the industry in your inner circle who can support you. Um, my, my mother, my biological mother, is um, very in tune with my business, uh, so she's one of my go-tos. My very best friend who had cancer in July, um, she's also one of my go-tos. Um, I almost... If if you didn't know that it was a you know my girlfriend, you would think that this was my partner. The way we talk first thing in the morning, like you would with a partner, um, she's having a bad day or I'm having a bad day, and um, you know we say I love you and good night and good morning. You know what I mean? Just like we would with a partner, but we are just friends. But we count on each other so much for our day to day. Or what do you have going on today? What do you need today? And um, so she's kind of like a right hand, but I'm also her right hand. And then at the marketing team I was talking about, um, the, the person in charge, the person who leads the team, has also become my go-to. So even if I'm having a meltdown for whatever reason, I can't get motivated, um, you know, I'm struggling with getting content done, I do let her know. And, um, and I keep an open line of communication. Um, with expectations in that regard so that I don't overwhelm myself Um, because it's the adult thing to do to communicate with people, you know? Um, So I I do have a small circle. My best friend is in the, um, in the sex work industry, but does not work as a performer. So she understands a lot of times my struggles and that helps. And then the, the lead for the marketing team, you know, obviously she works with multiple performers and models so she understands, you know, whatever it is I'm struggling with. And then my mom is my mom. So, you know, moms mm-hmm. seem to understand everything. <laughs> um, superheroes, but, but I do think, I, I do believe and I feel strongly that it's important that while we do need people within the industry to support us um, because, you know, we're kind of like a small family and we all understand what we're all going through from a work perspective. It is very important to also have people outside um, who can understand you on a more, on a more human and personal level. Um, and, you know, putting that work part aside and um, through this pandemic, my best friend has been, when I mean, we've had FaceTime lunches, FaceTime coffee, FaceTime dinner, FaceTime movies, you name it. We're, we're doing a lot of stuff together, but via FaceTime because of the pandemic. So, it's so and wonderful I, that we have these resources available. Yeah, I think it was really important. It was really helpful, and really important, and I, I, am very glad that I had established. Um, I have a good support system already established. You know, and I have a handful of other girlfriends that I consider very close that we reach out. You know, on maybe on a weekly basis, every few days. But my very best friend, I talk to morning, noon, and night, all day long. I love that. I was mm-hmm. um, locked down. I had one of one of my girlfriends. She was um, it's in a different country, but we were having our FaceTime on while we were working. 
like home, like working from home <laughs> in the office. It just kind of felt like somebody else was working with you. <laughs> it, yes, yes. So, so I'm sitting at my vanity, putting on my makeup, getting ready to shoot, and my phone is right there, and she's on FaceTime, and she's putting on her face. You know, she's going to take her Fashion Nova pictures for the day, and I'm getting ready to go shoot some customs. And we're putting on our faces while we're on the phone, like you're gabbing with a girlfriend. And it does feel like somebody's right there with you. And it's completely unnecessary, but, but it is necessary from a, from a mental health standpoint. You know, there's times that she would call me and say, um, can I FaceTime you just so I can get a change of scenery? Because she just wanted to see outside of her own house, you know, because we're all confined to our homes. And, um, yeah, you know, I, I'm here in Hawaii. I FaceTimed her yesterday from the beach or from, no, I was at a restaurant yesterday, the day before from the beach. I'm like, here, I'm FaceTiming you. <laughs> you can be on vacation with me. <laughs> I, think, I think if you FaceTime from the beach in Hawaii, I think, oh, it's a bit cold here. I want to be on the beach in Hawaii. <laughs> can I just jump <laughs> through, the, <laughs> through, through the screen and sit next to you, please? <laughs> Don't we all just wish we had a portal at this point, just this magic portal to take us where we want to go? The ruby slippers oh. link together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I know you mentioned before. So you, you you do one generally. You do one shoot day a week, and that's on a Sunday. Um. Do you for for the rest of your time? Do you have like a, a strict schedule? Do you work as and when you feel? Do you say you know every day I do X amount of time on social media and doing X amount of time working on my SEO and websites? Um, yes. Um, I have, a like I said, as the pandemic's progressed, um, I've evolved. And, and this is, so I feel like in a lot of ways, the pandemic was a blessing for me, for me personally, in the aspect of I needed to be grounded and not be able to travel because being home has forced me to look at my business differently, do things differently. And it was things I needed to do, but never had the time because I was always on the road somewhere. So, um, so so my time, as it's evolved, um, I did sign a contract with ePlay as an ambassador. So I'm live streaming several nights a week. And because I'm doing that, it forced me to set there's a cam schedule for the stream. And, you know, I have a Sunday filming schedule, but I've added an additional day, whatever day that is. Um, every Monday I have a, a gal come over who um, does shoot. You know, we are social distancing, but, you know, we work, we work together on a regular basis. Now, um, she comes over once a week to help me shoot the outside, the, anything I can do outdoors or, you know, I just shoot better when I have someone holding a camera than when I'm self-shooting with my Bluetooth, which I've done a lot of um, over the last year. But it's been, it, I'm much more efficient if I have someone there. And that also helps keep me motivated. So one person comes over to my house on Mondays and she shoots whatever content I need. And... Um, I forgot what my, totally lost my train of thought just now. Oh, I, that's my set schedule. Like, I have a set schedule of every Sunday I do this, every Monday I do this, Thursday, Friday, Saturday I'm streaming. But in the more every day, doesn't matter if I'm on vacation, what part of the world I'm in, um, here, you know, I'm here in Hawaii. I spend about a good two hours every morning getting through email, posting for social media, whatever I am going to post, um, or mentally planning my posts for whatever the day is. Um, and preparing those things, and then also getting things ready for the next day. So I try to do everything the night before, and if I have the time, you know, I'm watching a movie or something, and I'm not really engaged in the movie as much, I might start looking at those things for the next day or the next couple of days. I want to post these things. All of it takes a lot more time. People think it's, oh, you just take a picture and you throw it up on, on Instagram or Twitter. It's not. You you have to calculate everything, and, and I've really um, – pulled back on what I'm posting right now because of all the Twitter and Instagram rules and just, you know, not being sure of what we can and can't say, what we can and can't do, you know, I'm pretty much just posting once a day, but the reality is you should be posting five or six times a day on Instagram and 15 times a day on Twitter and you need to be calculated with what you're posting. This, it takes a lot more brain, you know, the thought than people realize, you know, you need to have, 10 engagement tweets and, and five that are links, you know, not, you can't just have 15 tweets that are all links. Twitter will, that'll shadow ban you on Twitter. So 
if you don't want to be shadow banned, you have to really mentally think, what am I tweeting tomorrow? What am I going to say? What am I, how am I going to engage my audience? How am I going to keep, how am I going to keep everything flowing? And it's work. And um, it's more work than I think people think and just having fun on social media or posting small porn clips, you know, it's not, it's not that simple. I don't think people have any idea how, unless you're in the adult industry and you've been a performer and you've had to work your way mm-hmm. up into the industry, you've, you've under, you know, you, you don't, you can't, you can't get your head around, as you said, all this, just, that's just social media. That's just one really small aspect, actually it's not a small aspect, but that's one aspect it of. Is, it uh, is a very then, time consuming aspect. Yep. And then, and then you've got to produce your content as well as that. And and edits and and so on and so forth and you've got to manage all your and I was just going to say that I told you know my marketing lead the other two days ago I said I have a new video I'm ready to edit it I'm going to sit down and edit that tonight I said how many trailers do you want because we usually do a couple of versions for various platforms you know I said do you want the ultra safe one and then we'll do one that teases a little bit more and then a full you know trailer before the whole video is available yes 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 I said I would do that. That was two nights ago. I didn't get to it. I fell asleep that night. <laughs> it was a long day in the sun, and I fell asleep. And then I forgot yesterday. So that is on my agenda at some point today, you know, to get I, – I still owe this to somebody, and i got to get this done. It's in my phone. It's ready to go. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and do it. Uh, or I have. I'm in Hawaii, and, you know, I'm getting distracted with palm trees <laughs> and sand. So, um, <laughs> um okay. And, and another and other aspects of my job, you know, like other aspects uh, were a full day of shooting today. So I probably won't touch my phone to edit or do anything else till late in the evening today. And we're so far behind the rest of the world from the time zone perspective that I'm going to lose the day, if that makes sense. Yeah. Pretty much lose the day today. And I know that. And, but I'm prepared for it. It's like, okay, you can lose, you can lose the day today. You know, I don't want to, but I was aggressive the last two days because I was preparing for the fact that I knew I was going to be unavailable on social media as much as my, I normally am today, tomorrow, you know, Thursday, Friday. Uh, um, there's, there's a lot to do and, and, and the little mess has been coming up and I could really happily talk to you for a lot, lot longer. You're being absolutely amazing, Sophia. Um, but but we're we're getting the little time. alerts that we're running out of time. <laughs> oh okay okay. And I guess I just really appreciate think, hearing how much is going on, and it's I don't hear any yeah. lack of motivation that that you've you know come on early in your time in Hawaii on the show today. So really appreciate that. Thank yeah. you for oh absolutely. Hey, you know I love you guys. I love pineapple support. I love supporting you guys. Um, I love what you guys do for our industry for our community. Um, and you know, I think that the, the industry as a whole, you're 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 invaluable to this industry, and people need to to see and hear you more, because um, I think a lot of people struggle with a lot of mental health things, and we need to know that we have somebody there that that understands. We can't just go to any mental health professional because our our jobs are unique. So I appreciate everything you guys do and offer for us. Thank you. We, we appreciate you um, hugely. And and we'll definitely, definitely get you on the show again. Hopefully not when you're in such a bad time zone for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I kicked, I kicked everybody out of the living room and was like, go in the other room. I got to get on the phone. <laughs> oh, awake at this time. My goodness. Surface. Surface. <laughs> well, I haven't, I'm with another, we're with, I'm with another model and a photographer. So I just, we all just played a, a bed switch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, and we're going to sign off and say goodbye. And um, thank you again. Uh, if you would like to follow Sophia on social media, it's at BBW Sophia Rose. On the website is ilovesophiarose.live. And as always, you can find out more information on Pineapple Support by visiting the website pineapplesupport.org. And we hope to see you on the next episode, which will be a recap on the last three guests. Bye for now. Bye-bye.